Hi, welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. Today is 26. Nope, March 25th. Day early. Uh, turn my phone back off. Uh, so today is March 25th, it's uh, Monday night, I'm watching The Voice and doing a little crochet so I thought I'd come on here and show you what I've been up to before I get busy with school. I have assignment due th this coming Monday and assignment due on the 8th so I'll be busy with that. I'm not sure if I'll get in, in uh, between before then or not but for now we will come on and show you what I've been up to. Uh, mostly the same thing, dishcloths, hand towels, and coasters. I'm trying to use up my mountain of cotton yarn. And I've been digging through and I have a lot of purple, so I might make a bag or some placemats with that. Uh, but before we get into that, if I forgot, this is Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. I talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. Uh, lately, been mostly a lot of crochet related items I've been working on and yeah so we'll get right into finished objects uh, this is a hand towel it's using single crochet and double crochets it's by cinnamon stitches she has a YouTube video here I forget what she calls it I just wrote down hanging hand towel, but I'm sure you can Google it and find it. If I remember, I'll try to get better at leaving links down below. Uh, this is using a big cone. I believe it's Lily Sugar and Cream. I still have quite a bit left on there. I believe it's pale yellow or just yellow. So I've done that. The yellow and the white one I'm going to be giving as gifts. Uh, probably one to a family member, one to a friend for Easter birthday gifts. And I've done some more coasters. Let's see what we got here. Got a couple labels here. Okay, I think I got all my coasters. This is a dark orchid lily sugar and cream. The pattern is by TL Yarn. Crafts. It's a sunrise coaster pattern, and for both the hand towel and this pattern, I've been using the five and five millimeter crochet hook, and lately I've been using my clovers. So I've done this one. This is Moon Dance and White. I ran out of the Moon Dance. This is the purple I didn't have a label for. And the variegated is Loops and Threads Cotton. It's a four weight. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is Moon Dance and this is White, uh, both handicraft or cotton. Brene. Uh, this purple, I think, is a little like sugar and cream, but I don't have the label anymore. And this, the variegated yarn is again loops and threads. And 
this is 95 yards, 2 ounces, 86 liters, I guess, and 56.7 grams. And it's a 4 weight. And it's called Lilac Om Ombre. One of my books says that I'm doing a dishcloth, but I'll get into that in a little bit. And then I had enough to do a plain kind of lavender color one. So that's it for coasters. I have even a bigger pile of dishcloth. I apologize if I don't remember all the color names, but it's usually lily sugar and cream, bernay handicraft or cotton. Could be the odd hobby lobby or suds by Estelle. So I have this pretty purple lavender one. And this pattern is by Black Rose Stitches. It's their coral ridge pattern. And again, I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. And this was from my big cone from earlier. I'll check what labels are here. Oh, that's tie-dye stripes. That's coming. And beach glass. That's it. Oh, I don't need those right now. This is this is soft, so this is Hobby Lobby Lab this cotton and pink. I did two of them. I think I have a third one somewhere. I might have packed it away already. This is Lily Sugar and Cream and Dark Orchid. This is Bernie Premium Bernie Handicrafter Cotton in the color Moon Dance. I got three of those of my leftovers. And then I have a couple more. This pretty blue one. And I loved how this one came out. Uh, this is Brene Handicrafter Cotton. That's this label here. And it's called Tie Dye Stripes. This is not all Bernie handicraft or cotton are created equal because this is really soft and I loved how it worked up. And I have three more of my stash over there that I can make some more, maybe a hand towel, I think, as well. And then I have some left over for a dish cloth out of the one ball. So I finished it off in white. That's backwards. So I'm getting quite the collection here. Okay, so that's it for that. And yeah, I have lots of pur purple yarn. I have a whole stash going here. I have Lily Sugar and Cream. Uh, this is Garden Party. It's very pretty. 
I have another Lily Sugar and Cream. This is Orchid. This is Brene Handicrafter Cotton. This is Soft Violet. So I got a lot of one balls, which are more dishcloths and coasters in my future. And this is hot purple, but it doesn't seem to be that bright of purple, but still very pretty. And then I have purple perk ombre. This is our your inspiration, Bernie Handicrafter Cotton. I have some mill ends. I this is like a cornflower blue color. So I want to try to use that up too. And I have this big ball of purple. This will probably be placemats or a bag. Uh, your inspiration, Handicrafter Cotton. This is a 14 ounce or 400 grams, 100% cotton, and it's a four weight. So I'll be busy on that for a while. I'm just going to grab a drink. And I did another, tried the, the alphabet square, or one of them, in the corner to corner. It's a special request. It still needs a little bit of work. I'm not sure if you can tell that's supposed, this is supposed to be the letter A. But I gotta work on carrying my yarn. Maybe that side's a little better. Definitely easier to do in solid colors. So it's a bit of a learning process, but we'll get there. So yeah, still doing dishcloths, hand towels, coasters, and doing this blanket here. This blanket I'm doing the five millimeter hook as well. So that's becoming next favorite hook size. And this is Bernay Premium in white and just plain pink, I think. Uh, this is white. And... Yep, just pink. Also made a few scrunchies. I have two purple ones now. I'm using the pattern by Passion Knits Kelsey. Uh, she has a YouTube video ch channel. So it turned out really cute. So I now have two purple. And I have two gray. This Bernini velvet yarn is really nice to work with. It's really very soft. And the pattern is easy to follow. And this is a five millimeter crochet hook as well. Velvet colors are. I barely made a dent in this. Uh, this is called Potent Purple. And the gray is called 
misty gray. Doesn't hold its shape very well, though. Okay. Well, that's all I have for today. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, and watching my videos. And you can follow me on Instagram. And we have a Facebook group, although I don't post as often as I should there. So I'll try to get better at that as well. And I also have an Etsy shop. Until then, I have, have a great rest of your week. And hopefully we'll talk soon. Bye for now.